So the first card is everything and anything is possible. And uh, you have to be brave. So you're going to be able to conquer things, but you just have to have a positive attitude and say that it is possible to do it. So there's some situation that's coming up for you where you have to act immediately. So immediate action required over here. And you might be taking a trip. It might be a business trip. It could be a, you know, um, a little bit of a break as well, but you are taking some kind of trip. So in the past, you've got express your creativity and happiness. So, you know, you've been... Um, uh, things have been pretty positive uh, in the last few months for you and you've been able to be very creative and express yourself and you're enjoying what you're doing as well. So going to the future, you might be considering further education. So maybe taking on some courses or some um, some kind of seminars that you're um, going for and just watch out. There might be some unforeseen expenses. So make sure you're not overspending right now so you have some uh, finance kept aside if anything crops up. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So the main energies um, are the fool. So you are starting off something new. You're actually weighing your options over here. So something new coming in for you. You want to start a new cycle. Maybe you've got two offers or two uh, ideas that you want to do. And you're actually weighing it. There are two new offers because he's holding up two eggs. Um, and, you know, you're trying to find out. You're actually trying to seek uh, guidance as to what you want to do next. How you want to proceed forward. So whatever you finished um, in the last cycle, you would have finished at the world. This starts off with the fool. You can see a lot of people way, uh, you know, bowing down over here. So a lot of people hold you in quite high, high regards and you've got your choice. Um, you know, you can start something, anything that you want, and it looks like it will be successful because, you know, people have a lot of uh, regard for you and they feel that you're quite expert at what you do. So right now you're in the process of starting something new, but you're deciding which one you're trying to decide or make a decision about which particular pathway you want to follow so what's happening with you you've got the two of swords here again um you know the, the two of swords is a decision uh but you and the king of cups in this case uh in this particular deck it seems like you know you are going to be facing some stiff competition uh if you're trying to make a decision about which particular job to start off uh, or to begin um it looks like you know uh, a lot of people are applying for that particular post and you're facing a lot of stiff competition so whatever jobs you're going for you have to make sure that you have presented yourself pretty well because you know there are a lot of people making applications you can see a lot of people sitting in the back over here and you are facing some really stiff competition. So make sure everything you are presenting to them is, uh, you know, um, really uh, attractive so that they, um, if they choose you, they are choosing you, you know, because you have really, um, you're really good at what you do and, you know, have good merit rather. Uh, so you've got to present yourself in such a way that, you know, you're very, very attractive. So you are facing a uh, really um, stiff competition in this particular post that you're applying for. You've got also here the King of Cups, so you are looking for, uh, you know, you're looking for help. Maybe you've gone and asked somebody uh, for some advice and to tell you which dis which particular post to take. Because this man, the King of Cups, is usually somebody who offers advice, somebody who can give you that uh, support that you need, and he's holding up two cups. So it looks like, you know, you are presenting, uh, you have two options available for you, and you've got uh, somebody that you are approaching for some kind of uh, support or advice as to which a particular post um, to choose. Uh, so you want some, you're, you're trying to get some advice or, or, or um, direction on which, you know, what to do next. And you're asking this person to help you. So you are asking for some kind of assistance, some kind of help. It could be somebody that you're working with, that you have emotionally connected with, and you're asking them for some advice. Now, in the past year, you've got the Ace of Wands, so you did begin some new project in the last year, and you've been working very, very hard, and you put in a lot of effort and energy to it. It was some, something new that began, and you've been working through that. So you start off a new phase last year, and it looks like, you know, you've been very concentrated and focused on it. You've got the Four of Cups over here, so you, the job that you were doing was pretty good. Uh, it looks like there's some offer that has come in for you in this last few months. So, um, you know, maybe it was something that was very sweet and, you know, whatever job you were doing, you were quite satisfied with. But it looks like some offer that's come in for you. Maybe you haven't noticed it because this man has not even seen Cup. Uh, but there was some opportunity that has presented itself to you in this last few months. So what's in your mind? You've got the moon. So you're feeling a bit confused as to what to do. Uh, yeah, again, you've got the two pillars over here. So there might be some choice that you're trying to make. Um, 
these are two obelisks. You're trying to make a choice to move forward, uh, but you really haven't got a clue on what to do. Uh, you know, you're a bit scared because you've got this hippopotamus over here, which is like almost like a monster, if you like. So you're a bit scared to act. And with the full moon over here, uh, you're not thinking very clearly about it. So you're quite confused. Maybe you're having a bit of sleepless nights as well, um, trying to decide what to do. So there might be a bit of anxiety that's associated with this choice. So uh, going to the future, you've got the six of court, uh, swords over here. So you need a lot of strategic planning uh, in order for you to um, get things done. You can see all the swords or these knives um, in this little grid over here. So you need to be very strategic about what you do. And it looks like, you know, you need to do a lot of research. Uh, um, look at some information from the past. You've got this very old person, you know, you, it gives you the idea that, you know, doing research, um, trying to find some information about it uh, and be very strategic in your planning about what you're going to do next. So some strategy is needed in, in order for you to conquer this particular uh, problem or this make to make this decision, you've got to be very strategic in what you do. So you've got the Queen of Wands over here. So uh, whatever you're doing at the moment, you're in a, in a position of leadership. Uh, you're very much in control um, and you're very proactive as well. Uh, you're coming across as the Queen of Wands, very energetic, somebody who, uh, you know, um, is able to be in charge, uh, you know, to tell people what to do and, uh, you know, uh, get the job done as well. So that's how people are seeing you. And what's going on around you? Uh, there seems to be a lot of uh, problems in the in the job that you're working with, uh, you know, uh, a lot of fighting, arguing. Um, the, um, Ten of Swords is, you know, a very difficult situation that you have experienced. So things are around you or where you're working are quite difficult. There's a lot of um, arguments, chaos, problems. And maybe this is the reason why you want to actually move on uh, from this particular job. Um, you know, you just want to leave it and move on because things, something has happened there. There was some crisis that happened there. Uh, and it looks like, you know, a, a lot of people may have been let go. Maybe, um, maybe this is maybe you've lost your job or, you know, and you've had to leave it because something happened within that situation uh, that was, there was a lot of loss. Maybe the, the business uh, that you were working for, um, you know, um, went into liquidation or, you know, they had some kind of a problem and there was a, a lot of loss, financial loss, and a lot of people had to be let go. Um, so there was some sort of crisis that happened in that uh uh, job that you're working with and although it was a good job and you know you were in a position of leadership it seems like something had happened in it and maybe a lot of people had to be let go and you want to move on as well so going into the f uh, what's on your your fears uh, hopes and fears what you want is you want to try and accumulate money uh you know you're trying to save as much as you can uh because maybe you're having to use your savings at the moment because you have lost your job so this might be a situation where you've lost your job you're trying to find a new job you're trying to start something new You've got some options coming in over here with the full card, um, but you are looking for advice on, on how to actually move forward. Um, you know, you may be putting in, uh, going in for interviews and, you know, trying to interview for new jobs uh, because there was some kind of, uh, um, you know, uh, crisis within that particular position and you've lost your job or, or something's happened where you, there, you're no more working there. You're not working there anymore. Where you had to walk away from it. And now you're using up all your savings because you can see these people are, are putting all away, uh, things away for the winter. They're saving uh, food uh, and you know they're, they're having to use this up so maybe this is your your fear that you're going to end up using up all your savings before you can actually find yourself a new job so going to the future you've got the knight of swords you've got the knight of pentacles and you've got the three of pentacles so there is some information that is coming in so uh the initial information there's two knights coming in somebody um you know uh bringing in information or uh maybe a person that you're working with that's going to be a bit devastating so whatever comes in whatever information comes in um you know it's going to be maybe it's about that company that you were working with the information is not really good uh it's you know it you, it's just the facts. It's been delivered without any tact. Um, and it's it's uh, causing a lot of upset. So something coming in, some information coming in with this Knight of Swords uh, telling you that, you know, something had happened. Uh, maybe you didn't get a payoff that you wanted to, but it's something that is about loss. And, you, you know, it's going to cause a lot of upset for you. The second one is an offer coming in for you. You've got the Knight of Pentacles coming in, bringing an offer for work. So it looks like you will find yourself a new job. It's going to be something that you're going to have to work pretty hard at. Knight of Pentacles is usually a hard-working, slow-moving knight, uh, but it's usually a stable knight. So the work that you're going to be doing uh, is going to be, you know, you're going to have to work really, really hard. It's not a leadership position. It's more like, um, you know, you'll be, 
you might be working in your on your own or you could be working in a team but uh, definitely not a leadership position uh, but it's something that's going to help you pay the bills and you're going to be working you know you, it looks like maybe this is going to be a teamwork uh, thing so a new job offer coming in for you after you get this news about something about the previous uh, job that you've been working in a new job comes in and it allows you to start working uh, you know you're working pretty hard to accumulate funds and you're working in a team over here so you can see working very hard to to, um, to accumulate um, and you'll be working under somebody who is very uh, you know it's a very practical person that you're working with uh, you know very down-to-earth person um, a person who will really um, you know dots all the I's, crosses all the T's. So they're very, very meticulous as well. But you will be working hard and you will be able to accumulate some finance. You can see they're accumulating all this grain, but it's going to take some effort to actually do this. So you are going to get a new job that will come in. Uh, but if news comes in prior to that, uh, that is not, it's a bit upsetting. You know, don't get too distressed about that initial news that comes in because after that comes in this new job and it's going to be something long term. You'll also be learning on the job. And, uh, you know, with the Three of Pentacles, it's collaborating with a lot of people. So working in a team, um, you know, uh, working for somebody that is quite practical, uh, you know, as long as you get your job done and you're doing it quite well, they, they're not going to be somebody who hassles you or somebody who gives you any grief. So that's coming in for you. So if you have lost your jobs, there is a job coming in for you uh, soon. And, uh, you know, it, it's going to be able to allow you uh, to um, accumulate finances as well. Make sure that you are being very strategic in what you do. So make proper plans and do some proper research with the Six of Swords. And you'll be able to sort things out. So you are making applications for this job. It is stiff competition, but it looks like you might get it. Uh, and, uh, you know, or if you don't get this one, there will be the second job because there is an option of, there's two options coming in over here. You can see the full starting of the two eggs over there. So if you don't get the first uh, job, job, then the second one will definitely be something that you will get. Um, and, um, and make sure when you go for the second, if you don't get the first one, make sure you're very strategic when you uh, make applications for the second job. So this is cast from the Fairy Tarot, and it says the Nine of Spring, which is protect the fruits of your labors, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead, uh, environmental cons um, conservation. So with the Nine of Spring, it looks like um, it's usually uh, like the Nine of Rods, a uh, card of defense, and make sure that you have, uh, um, you know, you consider... Uh, defending yourself so in other words make sure you have all your bases covered uh before you do anything and if any challenges come in you'll be you'll be able to handle it so be very vigilant uh be very alert you've got the queen of autumn over here be practical with respect to how you proceed the ability to make anything more beautiful meeting somebody who can help you make your dreams come true so it looks like a job is coming in for you with the queen of pentacles over here but you have to be very practical and very strategic so this card over here with the six of swords is also talking about strategy make sure you have a proper plan in place and you know what you're going to do if something doesn't work out you know what your next step is going to be you don't get completely distraught if the first thing doesn't work out you'll have a second option so make sure you're doing that and the Ten of Winter says, you know, it's the end of the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders, the end of addiction or codependency. So there's the end of that difficult period, all those problems that you're going through, that's coming to an end with the Ten of Winter. It's like the Ten of Swords, it's finished, that those, those difficulties are now resolving themselves and you will be able to move on. So even here, you've got the Ten of Swords over here showing that whatever crisis has happened, it's now finished, it's done, and you're going to have to just walk away from it uh, and you will sort out problems. So whatever Whatever happened that was quite devastating, whatever caused a crisis in your life, um, you know, you're going to have to just move on and you will get something coming in for you. If the first option doesn't, then definitely the second one will.